Hello dear students, welcome back to SP Sir's online learning. Today we are discussing the first lesson in economics and it's a worksheet number 5. This worksheet will give you a detailed understanding of lesson number 1 in economics, economy and government. In this lesson, all Varieties of questions, say for example, fill in the blanks, one mark questions, two mark questions, and even three mark questions are discussed. Kindly watch till the end for all such possible questions and prepare well for the exam. Welcome to Economics, first lesson, Economy and Government. Worksheet number five. Chapter number 15, part 1, Economy and Government. Fill in the blanks with suitable words. First question. In the 20th century, governments brought into practice DASH to enable economic development. So the answer is economic plans. So, in the 20th century means from 1900, 1901 to 1999. This period is called 20th century. Number of governments brought economic plans to enable economic development. Second question. The organization which formulates the 5 years plan in India is... Niti Aayog. In the 11th five year plan, DASH was given priority. In the 11th five year plan, inclusive growth was given top priority. The pioneer of the Green Revolution was M. S. Swaminathan. The government encourages farmers to adopt DASH system of farming in order to make farming environment friendly and stable. The answer is natural farming. Niti Aayog was established on 1st January 2015. What is the economic planning? The conscious and wise process through which the government with certain specific objectives utilizes the country's resources in a profitable manner in order to secure maximum satisfaction of its people is called planning. That means it's a with a specific objective, they make use of resources, natural resources, in a profitable manner to secure maximum satisfaction of its people. So that is the answer. Who is the father of Indian economic planning? The answer is Bharataratna Saran Vishveshwaraya. Which is the organization that approves five years plans? The National Development Council approves five years plan. What is Green Revolution? Revolution means quick change or progress. Green Revolution here, the drastic increase in food grain production during the particular period is called Green Revolution. What is the post-harvest technology? The improved technology that is used to procure the crops, process the same and market agricultural produce is called post-harvest technology. 
who is the present chairman of Niti Aayog. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is the present chairman of Niti Aayog. When can we achieve economic stability? When economy moves towards progress without extreme fluctuations, it is said to have economic stability. What is social justice? The income and the wealth generated in the country should be distributed as equally as possible to everybody without any discrimination in the name of caste, class, literate or illiterate, urban or rural. This is called social justice. Economy and government lesson has few more textbook question also. What is the strategy of economic planning? Economic planning has a strategy to achieve overall development of the country. Who conceived modern planning for the first time in India? So the answer is Saram Vishveshwaraya. Therefore, he is called father of Indian economy. Mention the book published by Bharataratna Saram Vishveshwaraya. Answer is Planned Economy for India. When was the National Planning Commission formed? National Planning Commission was formed in 1950. Who is the chairman of National Planning Commission? The Prime Minister chairs the Planning Commission. What is the full form of NITI, N-I-T-I, National Institution for Transforming India? When was NITI Aayog started? NITI Aayog was started on 1st January 2015. The day-to-day -day administration of NITI Aayog is looked after by the Vice Chairman. Always Planning Commission replaced as the planning commission is replaced as niti ayog that is national institution for transforming india what is the approach of niti ayog the niti ayog uses bottom up approach what does niti ayog objective include Niti Aayog uses bottom-up approach. Its objectives include a 15 years roadmap, 7 years vision, strategy and action plan. It is headed by the Prime Minister. Who takes care of day-to-day -day administration of Niti Aayog? The day-to-day -day administration of Niti Aayog is looked after by the Vice Chairman. Which are the four main heads of Niti Ayo? Policy and Program Framework, Cooperative Federalism, Monitoring and Evaluation, Think Tank and Knowledge and Innovation Hub are the four main heads of Niti Ayo. Which are the attached offices of Niti Ayo? Atal Invention Mission. Development Monitoring and Evaluation, Organization and Autonomous Body, National Institute of Labor Economics, Research and Development are the attached offices of Niti Aayog. How has the role of governments increased in welfare states? Developing countries lack basic amenities like transport, communication, electricity, education, and health. The government role towards alleviating these problems has increased in order to create welfare state. 
what are the objectives of five years plan increasing the production to the maximum extent possible increasing the employment opportunities reducing the economic disparities ensuring economic stability modernizing the economy are the objectives of five years plans list out the achievements of five years plan there are more than 10 to 12 points here kindly go through the textbook and here some of the points are given the rate of growth of the national income has increased gradually that is an achievement in the period between 2001 to 2010 per capita income has grown at an average rate of 5.6 per annum in the development of national income there is contribution of all three sectors of the economy namely agriculture industry and services in the initial period of plan the agricultural sector contributed more than 50 percent to the national income self-sufficiency has been achieved in the production of food grains likewise we have reached 257.4 million tons in the production of food grains in 2011-12 employment opportunities have increased particularly in the industry and service sector attempts have been made to provide employment opportunities to the rural mass even immense progress has been recorded in the field of science and technology modern technology is being used in agricultural industrial and service sector birth and death rates have reduced and rate of population growth is also decreasing life expectancy and literacy rate of people have improved what are the factors that led the green revolution the green revolution was the consequence of using high yielding seeds many experiments in mexico resulted in the discovery of high yielding wheat grains mexico and taiwan made use of this grain and achieved immense success in the production of wheat these factors led to the green revolution in india what are the remedies for the problems faced by agricultural sector pre-harvest technology use of improved technology use of hybrid seeds scientific irrigation post harvest technology these are the remedies for the problems faced by agricultural sector what are the objectives of niti ayo to evolve a shared vision of national development priorities sectors and strategies with the active involvement of states to foster a cooperative federalism through structured support initiatives and mechanisms with the states on a continuous basis recognizing that strong states make a strong nation what is the main objective of economic system the main objective of the economic system is human welfare what was the limitation of governments in olden days national security dispensing of justice and maintenance of law and order were the limitation of governments in olden days what is the role of welfare states providing food clothing shelter education health hygiene transport communication to the citizens is the major role of the government 
and if it is then it is created it is understood that it is created the welfare state what are the problems of the nations in developing economy unemployment poverty agricultural backwardness unequal distribution of income and wealth and even developing countries face lots of problems like transport communication electricity supply education health what is the role of welfare state providing food clothing shelter education hygiene transport and communication etc to the citizens is the role of welfare states what is economic fluctuation an economic system is characterized by fluctuations in the national income that is varies in the national income production employment investment and price etc such changes are called economic fluctuation dear students i presented almost 35 plus questions in the chapter number 1 in economics it's a detailed study of the lesson hope you have understood all the question answers read the textbook once and listen to these question answers twice you will understand it better all the best thank you